Yeah, I just love Quinn. Listen, so I think whoever is going to follow up Caitlin Clark and Point Guard would face, you know, some pressure and some big shoes to fill, I guess. How do you approach that, and do you lean into that type of pressure to perform? Yeah, I think going off of, like, I just hate to lose, um, so I already have pressure on myself that I want to be the best I can. I'm not going to be a Caitlin Clark. There's not going to be another Caitlin Clark. She's amazing, and she's done such great things here. But I think she's definitely paved the way to how hard you should work, what expectations there are, and what type of program this is, so I think to keep that the high program that it is, and yeah, I think more just pressure internally of, all right, do the best you can, and if you do that, then there's nothing else you can do. You had to follow up a, a really good score yourself. I mean, it's like two straight years you're trying to hit Maddie well, Sanders. I doing that. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> It's different, obviously, when you kind of grew up with the Dodo program versus coming mm -hmm. here. How did you rely on that, though, on going from you know, being on the same team as somebody who was leading the nation and scoring to now or trying to replace somebody who's in that position? Yeah, it's weird. I think it's more of opportunities when things like that change. Uh, it opens up opportunities for everyone. Uh, Maddie Seagrass, I had no idea what was going to happen junior year. I have no idea what's going to happen this year, but I think we have a lot of really good pieces here with. Um, Sid, a, lot, a few returners coming back that have played a lot of minutes, so I'm excited to see how they grow as well. How excited are you to play in the 3x3 World Cup? Yeah, that should be that should be exciting. Um, it's, um, I went to China last year with the 3 3 for the U21 team, so the U23 team should be fun. I get to play with Sid Pyle, a few really good players that I haven't played with yet, so it should be fun. Well, good luck to you in the next round. Thank you. 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 Because a lot, because people are going to naturally just compare you to Kate. I don't know if that's going to be okay to him, but um, how do you, but how would you describe your game, what you do? Uh, I'm going to come to play every night. I'm going to work hard. If my shot's not falling, I'm going to make the best passes I can, get everyone involved, play defense. You never know what's going to happen with the ball going in the basket, but I'm going to try my best, be a good teammate, have the energy. Seems like you, I can only speak to what I just saw. Mid-range games is important. Um, is that something that you work on? Is that something that you feel like is an asset for you? Yeah, that's definitely my favorite. So I guess that's what I'm going to bring is the mid-range game. But I want to develop my three-pointer for the next level as well. It's I have it a little bit, but I just I love the mid-range so much that I need to build on the three-pointer a little bit. But yeah, yeah, I would say I love the mid-range. <laughs> Do you have an idea of what this team's offensive identity is going to be this year, especially with the skill sets changing as much as they are? Yeah, I think um, we're still trying to find the flow, learn to play with each other a little bit, but it's still going to be a motion offense, read and react. Um, you can't really, you can't scout it too much because it's just based on what the defense does, which is cool. Uh, I like that. There's a lot of freedom involved in it. and But I think just playing with each other more and more throughout the summer, we've already come a long way from the beginning of the season. <laughs> I mean, the beginning of the summer, I remember the first like time we played pickup together. Me and Sid were running into each other all the time. Like We had such similar mindsets that we were doing the same thing, but that wasn't working. Now it's, our, it's been a month that we've already learned to play with each other like super well, so I'm excited to see what we look like in November. At, at what point during the visit did you meet Kurt Ferentz? So like, at what point like during the vi your visit did you meet Kurt? Oh, uh, it was like one of the first few people we met. Okay. Yeah, we went to the football stadium, which was cool. Was that also, was there like a tornado warning going yeah. on during that? What, <laughs> like, what, like, what happened? We what were did... sitting, me and my parents were sitting in Coach, Coach Bluter's office with all the coaches just discussing and then all of it was like pouring rain outside. It was like going sideways. I'm like, oh, that's so weird. And then it like switched directions and we're like, uh oh, that's not good. And then our phones started blaring off and then the, you heard the siren and we're like, all right, let's go down the locker room and take cover. My parents and I were like, what is happening? But since I've been here, there's been like five already. <laughs> so I'm used to it now. I feel like I'm a true island. How, how much would you credit the show Love Island for your <laughs> uh, cohesion with Taylor? Oh my gosh, I love Love Island and we watch it like every night. Um, yeah, no, it's so fun. She's one of my roommates, so we get to hang out a lot. And that's, yeah, it's always a fun thing to bond over. We were trying to watch The Bachelorette as a team every Monday night. We are, it's been out two nights and we already missed it, but maybe we'll get onto that. I mean, just how much did you guys, you know, again, you, you, you come in here, you didn't know any of these people just even a few months ago. Um, to click with somebody like Taylor, I mean, how instantly did that kind of 
friendship form and, and all that. Yeah, I think she was a really big help when my mom and I came to move in. Uh, she was just showing us around, taking us to the nice food spots, taking us to the gym. I didn't have access right away to come shoot, but I was itching to come. So she let me in with her uh, and then we shot together. And I think just for me, at least bonding on the court, I'd rather talk with someone shooting hoops than just sit there on the couch. So I think that really helps you bond. And she was the first person that I did it with.